Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another solo wargame play from Outer Planet Models. My name's Troy. Today we're going to be doing another scenario out of Hardwired, which is now known as Exploit Zero. Um, awesome, awesome solo co-op cyberpunk game. There actually is a expansion that does allow you to play PvP, but it wouldn't be hard to, to just change it all up. Today we're playing on my 15 millimeter city board. I love this board. I think it is just gorgeous and awesome. And all the little cutscene pictures that you're going to see, my friend Chris did some AI art of it. He took some pictures and then fed it through AI art and came up with uh, with all those pictures there. These are all cool right here. They're LED name tags that I picked up on eBay for like, I don't know five bucks a piece i mean they were super cheap they're magnetized they have a little piece of metal and then you just kind of hard to see here let's see if we can spot it on some others but you have uh just put some magnets on the buildings and it works great these buildings are also from if i remember right it's dr malarkey i'll correct that in the video if i am wrong and i'll put a link down in the description to his stuff also you can buy it off of um Wargame Vault. Hey, so our scenario today has our clones. Now they've gotten smaller for 15 millimeter, obviously. They have got to get clone A here, which is my um, splicer. So he's my cyber guy. He has got to get all the way down here to this guy. He has. Uh, my clone has a um, thumb drive with some data on it that he's got to get to him and then get off the board. Now, with 15 millimeter, this is a two foot by two foot board. If you take 15 millimeter, if you take a 28 millimeter, have it, you come up with your 15 millimeter scale. So in 28 millimeter, this is a four foot by four foot, which means that I have six turns to get my guy all the way down there, which means that he's got to be booking the majority of the time. The entry points for the HSEC we have is this road and that road there and then this road here and then coming through the uh, the opening kind of right here. I've already deployed my HSEC and they've already taken their first move. So there's two D6 HSEC there. And then over here we've got an HSEC and another HSEC. So they are coming in to try to try to uh, intercept my guys. I've got my D6 HSEC, my D8, and my D10 right there. So that is how it goes. That is the setup. And we'll be right back with turn number one. We have got to get our splicer here, which is clone alpha. He has got to get all the way down there. So we are going to have him go ahead and do his free move. We actually want him to move as fast as possible up. So we're going to just take all movements. So he gets two moves because that was an eight. So he can go here and here. Gets him to the end of the sidewalk right there. I think we're going to do it for all of them. So let's go with clone Bravo. Oh, he gets all three. So he's going to go four moves. So free move. One, two, three, four. He gets almost up behind the uh, dumpster here. So he's up there. Oops. We're going to go with clone Delta. He's going to get two, so it's free plus two. So he's going to go one, two, three. So he's kind of just coming up here. And then clone Charlie. Clone Charlie goes. Oh, he's going to get all of them too. Good. Good, good, good. So one, two, 
three, four. So he's going to get up behind this bench right there. Okay. Okay, that is all my guys. H sec now. So this H sec here is going to come around to the corner. Slide that bench out of the way a bit. He's going to slide to the corner here. And I don't know if he is nine inches. Ah, oh, he is nine inches. There we go. Okay, so that H sec has him. Ooh. So he is going to take a shot. Need a six. Got it. Save on him. One. No. So that is clone alpha. That is my guy here. He took that wound. It's not good because that's the guy I got to get moving. Okay, this H sec here. He's just going to move out. Mm, I'm going to say he doesn't That this have a target. This clone here is behind the car, so he can't see him. So he can't see anybody. He's going to move again. Two? Nope. So he's done. These two H sec back here. Right here. We're going to have this one. He kind of moves up to this corner here. Right in there. And he doesn't have any targets, so he's going to try to move again. Nope. This H sec here is going to move up into here. Put that bench back, I bumped it. No target. Try to go again. No. Okay, so that is that part. Now let's roll to see. We're our enemy, so we are going to roll 2-1. We're going to have two D6 quality troopers at each AL, which is their arrival location. So we're going to get two at each. So we roll, at the end of roll, two D4. Roll a D4 two times. So our first one, remember, we've got one, two, three, four. So here we go. So three, so we're going to have two more up here, right here. And four. Two more are going to come in on this corner right here. Coming down the street. All right. There we go. Our WISO security forces have come out. That's the end of turn one. Let's start with our splicer there. So he's going to get his free move. Get some up here behind the Yum food. Okay. Turn two. Can we do we want to move him again? Yes. So he's wounded, so he's not gonna get his D10s. Let's, let's try to move him again with a D8. We got a four. So we're gonna come up here, and that's my arm. Come up here and get him just behind the yum. Now, let's have him take a shot over to here. So it's only on a six, D6, I mean. Don't have any. Oh. I did have to get rid of one of my gear slots, so he does not have, uh, let's have him not have banks. We're just going to smart ammo. Yeah, so we're going to go smart ammo. So, smart ammo gives me plus one to my hit, so I need three or better. I hit. Target's defense is minus one, so that H sec needs a five. Of course! All right, we're done with him. Let's now go to clone Charlie here. He moves up so he can get 
right here into the street. Let's try to move him again. We'll use a D6. No, so his 6 is gone. We are not within range. We're within range to punk him. Right there. So let's punk him with a D8. That's clone Charlie right here. He is my razor. Ah, he's got the mono blade. Okay. He needs to move again. So we're gonna move him again. Why am I rolling two dice? Five, he gets to move again. He's still out in the street. And the D10, a one. Oh, he's standing out in the street wide open. Okay, let's get these guys over here. Over here. So we got to get clone Beta and Delta here into the fight. So we're going to get our free move. We're going to go Beta first. He's going to move up to here. Ran out of power on this one. Got to plug it in. It's just a little micro USB. Do good. Go. But they're way cool. Okay. And let's move him again. The D6. No. Move him again with a D8. Five. Yes. Gets him in the street. Needs to move again with a D10. Got it with a four. So he gets up to the guns vending machine here. Right here. It does kind of set him up for some good angles. Now Delta. Delta gets his free move. Go on, clone Delta. He's H-Sec from Wiso. Really getting a lot of guys. we got to get over there. They're all on that side of the board over there. Okay, second move. No! Second move. No! Second move. No! What the heck? What the freaking heck? Gall! Did you... Maybe a text message came through on his PDA, and he's like, oh, hey, it's Mom. Mom, why don't you ever call me? He's like, I'm a clone. I don't know who you are. That doesn't really make sense, but that's okay. All right, so let's see here. We so Security forces are going to move. It's kind of hard to see, but he moves up to here. He's not going to have a target. He's going to try and move again. He got it. So he's going to kind of come out here by the Robotech Minmay statue. This guy here moves out to here. Uh, he, I'm going to say he doesn't really have a shot. He's going to have a shot here, though. Oh, man. Don't hit my dude. Two. Good. He listened. Okay. Now these guys here. So he is going to run up. Oops. I don't think I caught that right. He is going to run up to here. And then take a shot. Three. Missed. Good. Now, this guy here. I think he's going to move up here. Get some here. Oops. Second move. He got it. He's just going to peek around the corner. And these guys here. He moves up next to the car. Takes a shot at him. That's Clone Charlie. 
and hit. Clone Charlie takes a wound. Here we go. Okay. This one is going to move up here. What do I? Oops. Why do I have a feeling that this is going to be, the mission's going to be a failure? He'll take a shot. He's got him. D6. Missed. These guys here are just going to move again. So he moves up to here. He's going to move. Double move. He doesn't get it. So he gets up to here. All right, this is now turn two. So we're gonna have three D6 quality troopers at each access or rival location. So the first one is one, two. So there's gonna be three. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get more of these guys out. I'm just gonna do that as a holder until I can get more. And two, one, two. Wow, they're like coming in force on this side here. Yeah. That sucks because I was actually going to have him try to come up here. <laughs> All them here. And remember, that's the guy I got to get to to give the thumb drive to. Uh, not looking good. Okay. Here we go. Turn three. I think we're <laughs> really pretty hosed. We've got, let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. It's kind of back there. Fourteen H sec on the board. All I have to do is touch him there, and that transfers it. I don't think I can make it. Two, four, six. Max, he could move this turn. He's six inches, and that dude's ten away. I guess we could try to get behind here and hide. And then we'd only have to be shot at from over here. And that's only two extra moves. Let's do it. Free move. Gets him up to here. He's wounded, so we don't have our D10, so let's go for D8. Oh, that's going to be bad. D6. <laughs> oh, one. Oh, wait. I messed up. That's what I want. So really, that uh, that makes it even crappier. He technically, he's not wounded. That's Clone C, Clone Charlie. So he does get extra move. All he's going to get is back up in here. He's a melee guy. Ah! He is my razor. Okay. Splicer, come on, clone. Three alpha. You were wounded. So we're going to go ahead and do some extra moves. We're going to try to get behind. Well, let's see here. Free move gets me to almost to the sidewalk crack that leads down to where the TMNT live. So, if I can get him up under here, and back behind the car, he is going to get shot to pieces, but that's better than nothing. So, first move, he got it. So, he's up here. Is he within nine inches here? Yes. So, let's take a shot at that cop with the D8. Three moves, because he no longer has his smart ammo, because I forgot I the, um, whatchamacallit, takes a, the thumb drive takes up a slot. And I just realized here, Clone Charlie is also wounded, so Clone Charlie 
It's actually still out here in the road. Thank you all for hollering at me and telling me that. Uh, we gotta get clown, 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 clown beta. You're dumb. Sorry to all you clowns out there. I actually like clowns. Especially Fizbo. Ah, bravo, clown, bravo. Too bravo. We're going to go with you. I guess we could bring you up here. And then take some shots at these guys here. Let's try to do that. So, he's too covered. He's... So he can shoot him. He's too much in cover. Let's shoot this first guy here. Let's take him out. D10 shooting. A hit. His defense five or better. No. So he finally killed one. Great. Great, great, great. I have some little dead ones too. There we go. He's down. So that's one. Let's take a shot at this guy up here. Um, just out of range, I think. That's harsh. Oops. I got my dude. That's, that's harsh. Let's move again. The D6, nope, a D8 move again, yes. So he does get up behind the lamppost here. Up here. Okay. Now, where's my other clown clone? Over there. He's over here. Free move, he's just... He's going to go gung-ho with it. He's going all, all, I don't know, somebody who walks straight down the road and shoots. So he's not going to be within range here. To get within range, I've got to do an extra movement. So let's see here. Two does not do it. D8, seven does do it. So he's going to get right here. Right there. And now we've got a shot at him. So we're going to try and take up that cop at HSEC that we sew security force there. 2 d 10. A 10. Got him. He tries to save. Five. Five. Of course. Of course, of course. I've lost. Well, I've killed one dude. And I've got two dudes wounded, and they are all out in the open. Here comes obliteration time. Okay. Free move. They're just going to... They're going to be like... If ever you played the old game, Wasteland, there's like a picture of guys walking down the street, and they are... Almost like it looks like they're getting ready for a gunfight. That's what these guys are doing. He's going here. He's taking a shot at Clone Alpha carrying my thumb drive. Miss. Good. He steps out to the front of the car. Here. Five hit. Defense. Six saved. He comes out. Gets out here in front of... Store takes a shot. Missed. Good. He's going to step out here. Take a shot. Hit. Defense. Nope, that's wound two. On him. So he only gets a D6 and a free move now. He... Just gonna step out here now. I will give him cover, so I get a plus one, I believe. Hold on, I'll be right back. I'm gonna double check that. Okay, since this is light cover, I'm saying here, he's got a 
Minus two to hit, plus one on defense. So minus two to hit, so he needs to get a six. No. Ah. Here come these guys. Uh, let's split them all. Right down here, he's going to shoot at clone Charlie out in the open. Miss. He's going to step up, do the same thing. Miss. He steps up, does the same thing. Hit. Clone Charlie gets wounded. That's two for Clone Charlie also. These guys here, uh, they're supposed to take as much cover as possible. So he's going to go up here because that's going to leave him still well within range. He takes a shot. Hit. Defense. Made it. He's going to kind of come up behind his buddy and be like, I'm going to use you as cover. But he kicked him because he got a three. He's going to step over here into this doorway. Right there. He's going to take a shot and miss. These guys here. He moves up and then free move. Or not free move. His action move. He gets. So he gets up to here. This guy in here does not get his extra move. So he's actually going to go right about there. Ugh. This is horrible. Horrible, horrible. Since we're now at the end of turn three, or the bottom, I guess, we got to roll for our D8s. So two come in at three. <laughs> right here. And two come in at two. Oh, yeah. I bet, I bet like right here is a WISO security force like recruitment office. <clears throat> and so all these guys, they're like, hey, if you want to work for us, go out there and fight. This does not look good. Not look good. Not look good. I've got to come all the way down here. Ugh. Horrible. Okay. It's not looking good. This is turn game over, man. Game over. We've got all this WISO security, all this HSEC here coming in on my guys right here. And I've got to get him to there so that he can drop off the USB drive. So I think we're just going to do a gun and run, just get moving because... Wait, I could have him transfer the stick to him and then him try to make it. <gasps> We're going to do it. Clone A, but clone C is wounded also. So really, I got to go to clone B. Right there. Let's try it. Okay. Free move gets me here. I can make it if I can do it. Oh, come on. Come on, dice gods. Yeah, you really liked that one. A six. Okay, so he's going to get into base contact with him. Now, that's his two actions. Now we're going to go clan, uh, clone Beta, clone Bravo there. He has all his stuff. We have micro grenades. I guess we could kind of chuck some of those and see what happens. He's got some drugs to help him heal up. Hyperspace and McCoy. I might have to go hyperspace if we get it here. Okay. We're going to say first action. If I get, if I succeed this, his first action is going to be dropping the, dr uh, the grenades and getting the thumb drive. If not, it's going to take two turns. <laughs> okay. Well, sorry, not two turns, two actions. So it takes him two actions. His first, he now gets his free move. So he comes up to here. And the H sec 
will go towards the closest target. So clone Charlie here is going to move here. And because he's wounded right here, this guy's too, I got to get this six. Six, I got it. So he's going to shield clone Bravo. Clone Delta there. He's going to get his free move. He gets up to here. Chucking a grenade. He has grenades too. Chucking a grenade is only 12 inches, so it would be 6. So I could get him there. Get him. But I need to just move him up to become a human meat shield. Second move. Wait. Second move. Got it. So he's going to come up here. Alright, so he's getting up here. Second move. Got it. Good. He's going to come around here. Kind of jumping around through the, the little ramen shop. And last move. That's where he stops. Okay. They are supposed to move to the closest. But I think I'm going to have them stand. They're going to kind of take some cover. And shoot. So, shooting there. This could be game. He hit. Defense roll. Made it. He steps over here. Takes a shot. Hit. Defense. Made it. He stands here. Takes a shot. Hit. Defense made it. Oh my gosh, this could be. This, oh. And because of where he positioned, these guys here are going to go towards him. So steps around, takes a shot, misses. Steps up, takes a shot, hits. Does not save. He shot, hit, and did not save. Him, he's going to move up. Now this is a D8. Takes a shot, a four hits, does not save. And he gets a second shot, hits, doesn't save, he goes down. Clone D is down. Clone one, Delta, drops. Now him, he's gonna move up here, take a shot at that clone, first shot, hit, Save, no save. That's clone Charlie. Clone Charlie only gets a free move now. Now, he hit with that, and he saved. So, I did the the D8 H sec there, got a second shot. Hit, but I saved it. Over here, this is really going to be pretty bad. Moving up here. Uh, actually, taking a shot at there. Right there's my shot. That's closest. D6. Hit. Saved. Saved. I think all of these are going to kind of daisy chain up in here. So here and here, we're going to fire one into him. Because we are nine inches. We can do it. First shot, hit, save, save. That was this guy, now this guy. Hit, saved. He's going to step up, him, take a shot. Did not hit, he, here, steps up by his dead comrade. Hits, saves. Woo! Okay, this guy under here. He's only going to be able to get up to the edge. Close enough. I feel like having him get up there and shoot. Shoots. Misses. It doesn't matter anyway. Now these guys here, they're hearing all this gunfire over here. So he's going to move here. Try to move again. He gets it. He gets here. Takes a shot at him right there. Is D8 hit save? 
it did not save. That is clone for Charlie. Clone for Charlie is down. Oh. <laughs> okay. Here. And then here. Let's see if he gets this extra move he did. He gets here. So you're going to swing him out a bit so that he can take a shot at, of course, the data carrier. Misses, though. Good. Well, now. I think this is going to come down to being it this turn. Let's see. Where do the guys come in? Four. So we're going to have some, some uh, D8s are coming in over here. Four, oh, a bunch of D8s. So actually six D8s are coming here. I don't think it's going to matter. And I I don't even have the figures for it because I've killed like two, I think. I th no, I think I only killed one. I think he was just an extra. Clone, bravo. You are carrying everything. You're <laughs> just going to run for it. Free move. Get you here. We are going to try, oh, let's just, let's just go for it. Here's first one. Got it. Oh, he gets right in here. I need a D8. If I make it, I get in contact and that's it. <laughs> oh, Whew. I made it. I believe by the scenario, all I have to do is get in contact. It can be passed off to any other agent or the courier. I don't have a free move. I didn't get it. <laughs> he is literally standing right there. Well, let's see what happens here. I'm actually going to grab another die here. We are going to do this in rapid succession here. We are first going to go... So blue is going to be my defense. White is their shooting. We're going to go here. Hit. Did not save. That's first wound on clone B. This guy. Missed. This guy. Missed. This guy here. Hit. I did not make it. That's second wound. This guy hit. I did not make it. That's his last. If he gets wounded one more time, he's dead. Now we're going for the 4d8 guys that are right here on him. First shot. Hit. Doesn't make it. He dies. Hell of fire brings him down. They do not deliver the thumb drive. Yeah. That's not cool. Like I said. Well, I guess I said it last turn. This is turn game over. There we go.